Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the second edition of the uh, Tennis Tribe Point of the Week. Uh, my name is Will, I'm the founder of the Tennis Tribe. And uh, in this week's um, point, we've got a USTA 4-0 uh, mixed doubles match. Um, if you're not familiar with the Point of the Week, what we're doing is, um, this is kind of an experiment. Um, essentially what, I, what I'm trying to do is uh, break down one doubles point every single week so that you can uh, learn something on a weekly basis to kind of take into your next match um, and use in your next match to continue to improve your game and uh, level up uh, your doubles. So uh, for this point, like I said, we've got a mixed match. Um, it's a USTA mixed doubles 18 and over in LA somewhere. Um, and again, hopefully they don't mind us using the point. Uh, but the first thing I'll do, just like last week, um, is I will play the video uh, and you can just watch the full point here. Here we go. All right, so that's the point. Um, as you can see, we, we've got a lot of different uh, skill level. I believe last week we did uh, a 5-0 uh, men's match, um, and then this week we're doing 4-0 mix. So um, a little bit different uh, type of game, a little bit different skill level. As you know, mixed is a completely different game. Um, but for this specific point, um, there's a few things I like, a few things I don't like. Um, so. First off, um, it's really representative, this point is really representative of what I see in a lot of, um, I guess we call it like transition uh, doubles players who are kind of moving from that like intermediate uh, skill level to kind of advanced. Um, and what that is, is a lot of points are just kind of cross court rallies with the people at the net just kind of watching, um, not moving a whole lot. So. Uh, first off, um, with the cross court rally, I'll comment on that a little bit. Um, the uh, lady at the back serving, she does a good job of getting the ball really deep. So the return is pretty solid back to her backhand. Um, she probably knows the net player on the other side isn't moving. Um, I've watched a few points already, and, and the girl just hasn't poached a lot, so um, or at all really. So um, this lady does a really good job with this be first backhand of getting it pretty deep in the court. You can see the guy has to back up to hit it, um, gets kind of on his heels a little bit. Um, and I feel like he is, is feeling the same thing as, as the server at this point. Um, he knows that the person on the other side really isn't poaching. Um, so he feels confident to just continue to um, hit an easy, smooth shot um, back cross court here. Um, this next one is super deep in the court. So you can see it lands um, in the doubles alley within probably three feet of the sideline and within a few feet of the baseline as well. Um, this guy is way on his heels. He's hitting a backhand, which is probably his weaker shot. Um, last week we talked a little bit about uh, kind of poaching cues, um, things to look for and when to poach. Um, this would definitely be one of those times. Um, Anytime you see somebody on their heels, especially on their backhand side, really deep in the court, you're going to have plenty of time to uh, to poach and make a move on this ball. And even if they do go up the line, a lot of times it's going to be a lot slower shot, so you'll even have time to recover, um, especially at um, you know, a 3-0, uh, 3-5, 4-0 level. Um, and in mixed, if, um, if they're not hitting the ball with a lot of pace, you're going to have time to go get to that ball. So um, really look for that here. Um, the guy at the net um, on the serving team, he really doesn't do any movement at all um, during the whole point, but this would be a great opportunity for him to make a move on this backhand and poach. Because you can see the ball comes here pretty high over the net right in the middle. Um, the server is moving in here. Um, she hits a decent half volley for her skill level, it looks like. Um, but the mistake she makes, you can see, is she leaves it a little short in the court. So this guy's got a forehand coming in. And she just stops there at the service line. And this is, if there's one thing you take away from this video, this is it. Um, this is the difference between, uh, you know, a 3-5-4-0 doubles player and a 4-5-5-0 doubles player. Um, I see it all the time when I'm watching 
uh, three, five, and four O matches. Um, I used to play eight O myself and, and played against a lot of those people. And um, for some reason, at that level, people will move into the net and stop at the service line or just inside the service line, and they just don't continue to close. Um, so you can see this lady does this here. She she stops just inside the service line, and this next volley is a little bit low, and it's difficult to get up over the net. If she had kept closing, she would be able to um, get a, a cleaner look at this volley and be a lot less likely to, to actually miss it. So you can see here, she makes contact down low. She's got to get it up over the net um, from about 8 or 10 feet off the net versus if she was right on top of the net, she'd have an easy volley to just punch back um, at the guy's feet or towards um, towards the girl on the other side of the net. And this is where the, the point misses. So... Again, similar to last week, the uh, the team on the other side of the net really is in a good position right um, at this backhand. Like right now, if you ask me who's going to win this point, it should be the serving team. It really should because this guy's on his heels with the backhand. Um, but the problem is these net the net players just aren't moving a lot, and uh, it's something I reiterate over and over again in doubles um, in all of my lessons on the site. Uh, you really have to be moving at the net. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to show you, um, I want you to watch both net players on, uh, on throughout the point. So watch here and see if they're moving side to side. You can see there's just almost no movement side to side, maybe a little forward and back, especially on this returner side, but there's no lateral movement. Um, this uh, the girl on this side, on the return side. She does something that I'd, I'd see a lot of um, a lot of recreational players do. Um, they think they're moving, but really they're just shuffling in place, and that does nothing to the opponent. Um, really, you've got to be moving side to side. Um, you can watch her here. She kind of like moves her feet, but doesn't actually go anywhere, so it doesn't really serve a purpose. This is, this is the best one right here. She'll she'll just kind of do a split step, but doesn't really move. So you can see that that makes it really easy for the opponent to just continue to go back cross court um, and back cross court. So again, um, similar to last week, we've got to be moving laterally um, to get in the opponent's head, even if it means you're going to get passed up the line once or twice. Um, for each one of those that happens, your opponent's going to miss a shot because they see you moving, um, or they're going to miss two shots, right? We know down the line is a low percentage shot. So... Um, really, we've got to be moving laterally, and when we do come in, we've got to commit and come in all the way. Um, if the opponent has a good lob, make them lob you a few times before you do uh, decide to change your strategy. But don't just concede that and stop at the service line and hit tough volleys from the service line because you're really going to have a, a tough time uh, hitting those volleys and taking control and closing out the point. Um, so those are the big takeaways this week. I uh, hope that helps. Let me know what you think. Um, I would love feedback um, in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, whatever it is. Um, I would love some feedback. And uh, if you have a video that um, that you'd like me to, uh, to break down, if you have your own match that you've recorded, anything like that, definitely send it in um, and I can feature you uh, on the next point of the week um, on the website. So uh, again, let me know what you think and thanks for watching.